when you get over this costume version and you're looking to throw some emblems on him you probably your best bet is to go Hey, thanks so much for checking out the channel. Today we're doing a brand new hero breakdown on the Dodo Bird Man. What's going on here, Costume Chow? You got a big giant bird. I think that that's pretty much, that's a big giant bird chilling on your, what? I, I don't know. Okay, he's got 673 on his attack, 680 on his defense, and 1189 on his, I, I was trying to make sense of it. I was trying to make sense of the Dodo Bird. I, I still can't get beyond that. Sorry, he's got 1189 on his health. Statistically, he's about average for a four star, uh, which is kind of low on all of them. I don't know what's going on there. He is a costume version. He is also running at fast speed. With the costume version, you actually get some bonuses. If you level up the costume version, you get an attack bonus of 5%, defense bonus of 5%, Health bonus of 10%, and mana bonus of 5%. So what this means is once you level up the regular version all the way and the costume version, they both the versions get to take advantage of those statistics. This video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. It is a turn-based arc fantasy RPG. If you want a huge chance to Raid, all you need to do, click on the link in the description. If you're a new player in the next 30 days, you'll receive one clan boss key, one energy refill, one day XP boost, five mystery shards, 50 gems, 50,000 silver, and one free epic champion shaman. All your treasure is waiting for you right over here. As far as his hero special, he deals 275% damage to the target. The caster steals generated mana from the target over four turns, starting low and increasing every turn until the last turn. All generated mana is stolen. This effect can't be cleansed, but it gets removed if the caster dies. So essentially, he's running at fast speed. He's dealing damage to one single target at 275%, and he's uh, stealing mana from only one target over four turns. So it's essentially just like what Onatel does, where Onatel runs at average speed. He's running at fast speed. He's hitting a single target. Onatel hits three targets. Pretty much the same thing, though. Uh, when you get over this costume version, and you're looking to throw some emblems on him, you probably, your best bet is to go the attack, defense, health, pretty much pretty standard. You wanna keep it kind of that that uh, that position. When we look at his Titan grade, he is gonna get a C grade on Titan. He's absolutely terrible on Titans. The reason being, he's got 673 on his attack, which is really bad against Titans, and he doesn't really do anything. He just deals damage. Maybe you're looking at, oh, he gets a steal mana. Eh, it's not really that big of a deal. Uh, on that, I'm not really seeing it too, too much. Maybe over the fourth turn, you can try and get it to where you steal all the mana or something like that. But I, I just, I'm not seeing it. Possibly, but I just, I don't see it at all. So he's going to get the C grade there. I know you guys are probably going to fight me in the comments. But uh, on mana with Titans, it's not really that big of an issue on pulling out the mana. Just is what it is. Take a look at him offensively. He is going to get a B grade. Maybe there's a potential use for him to be going. I'm just not a big fan with him only running at fast speed um, and only dealing damage to one target. And not to mention, it's only at 275% to that one single target. So it's not a huge amount of damage to a single target. It may be kind of cool to steal the mana over turn, but I think that this is just one of those characters that you, you, you think may be good. But I'm not seeing it with the, the, the mana over one character. Now, Onatel is pretty sweet when she goes off. I do appreciate it. But three characters over one character is definitely going to be a big, big difference in terms of gaining the mana back. So a lot of times you're just going to be going at it 275 at fast speed. When I take a look at him defensively, he is gonna get a C grade as far as the tank grade goes. Uh, obviously, he doesn't have the best stats. He's only hitting a single target, and him generating mana over four turns over some target that could be any target, it's just not gonna be a good uh, situation. He's gonna get a C grade there. In the flank position, he's gonna get a C grade as well. Fast speed, only hitting a single target, and then also stealing mana from some random enemy you know, because what could happen is you can just time that a bit better on your end. It's only a single target that you're really worried about that. And then in the wing, he is going to get a B minus. Maybe this is the position. If he is going to be on the defense at any position, it's 
probably going to be all the way in the corner and you're just dealing 275. So these grades are compared against five stars. I think this is kind of one of those characters that things might be really desperate for you to really need to use them. In the weekly raid grade, these are compared against other four star characters. On rush attack, he is going to get the B grade there. Um, he just isn't awful, but he isn't great. He's already running at fast speed. I think that there's just better characters. Maybe you can utilize the whole stealing of the mana part, but again, once you steal the mana, 275, it's not end of the world to a single target. And then on, on buff, he is gonna get another B grade there. Um, doesn't really impact the board state in terms of uh, generating the buffs or anything like that. It's just a fast character, hitting, dealing some damage. He's gonna get a B grade. On bloody, he's gonna get another B grade. Fast speed, just dealing damage. I guess he's okay a little bit, but nothing too impressive. So when we take a look at his overall grade, he is gonna get a B minus. Unfortunately, he doesn't deal enough damage to really impact it. And then he is he is stealing the mana, but it's just starting out low and increasing every turn. So you have to really time it out to really take advantage of it, especially with it only being a single target. So thanks so much for watching the content. Please make sure you subscribe, turn those notifications on, and I'll see you on the next video.